Welcome to African Air Ordnance. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Just to let you know, I am not sponsored by any companies, which means I can give you an honest review without any help. Today's air gun review, it's all about the Vulcan 3 in 5.5mm from air gun technology. Big shout out to pelicans.com for light and fast shipping on my order. I buy all my air gun gear from them. Let's get to it and open the box. The Vulcan 3 comes with a very nice, usable, soft gun case. My first impression is wow, absolutely awesome. Just look at the super nice wood stock. The overall finish on the rifle is top notch too. The owner's manual comes with the gun. I highly recommend that you read it if you are new to air guns and even just browse over it if you're a veteran. All right, let's get down to the nitty gritty and talk about the Vulcan 3. The shrouded barrel length is 700 millimeters. The mag holds 12 rounds. The scope rail has 20 MOA bolts into it. The 580cc carbon fiber bottle Gives the rifle with an overall air capacity of 715 cc's with the bolt in planer. Full pressure is 300 bar and the Vulcan 3 is regulated. Unscoped, the rifle weighs in at 3.8 kg's. Overall length is 39 inches or 99.06 centimeters. The cocking lever, which is super smooth, can be switched from left to right or right to left, depending on the shooter. Vulcan is absolutely beautiful. One thing I do like is the very smooth cocking action of the rifle. So it's absolutely beautiful. All right, let's see what comes in the little white box. All right. First, you get a pen that you can also use for uh, measuring your group size. It's pretty neat. And you can write down uh, any information you need. You also get two 12 shot uh, magazines. The nice thing about them, these are actually machined out of aluminum. Pretty nice. So you get two of those. You get one full probe so that you can fill your gun. You also get a couple of uh, spare O-rings. A nice keychain with Air Gun Technologies logo. That's a nice little, uh, nice little gift. You put on your keys so you don't lose your keys. Um, now this is a spacer for the plenum. Um, so if you actually want to switch the gun over, uh, this particular model I ordered in the high power version. So it came uh, with Atlas installed. So if you want the low uh, power version, you'll just install this, and it acts as a spacer for the regulator. And finally. How awesome is this? You also get a uh, full station that comes uh, with the gun. It's pretty neat um, and it saves you from having to buy one. And to be honest, not very many uh, air gun companies actually supply uh, full stations with their rifles. So that is an awesome add-on. So one last thing um, to show you guys. Right over here, is the little uh, screw that uh, you can use to degas the rifle. And so you want to do this when you want to take the rifle apart to um, adjust the regulator. All right, it's time to put a scope on it. Let's go shoot. All right, guys, uh, we're at the African Air Ordnance uh, Air Gun Range. Um, our range is uh, 80 meters long or about 84 uh, yards. Um, we're going to be shooting the JSB uh, knockouts, uh, 217s, that are 25 grain. So let's see how she goes. Oh, I've got the Vulcan 3 topped off with a crimson uh, trace. It's a 6224 uh, 
by 56 optic with a 34 millimeter tube. Awesome optic. All right, let's see how this goes. fly it. Right, so we had one flyer. I guess it's just my age. Um, that said, I love the consistency of this rifle. I, just looking at the numbers, they seem very, very consistent. Um, just so you guys know, and you'll see in the picture, I actually shoot against um, disposable white cardboard plates. And the reason for that is, is when you're shooting a longer distance, you, to, see your, um, to see your bullet strikes, it's, it, they show up very, very nicely on those disposable white plates. And they're a lot cheaper than buying targets. I simply stick a red dot on them. Um, what I'm going to try next is I'm going to try some uh, H&Ns that are sized in 218 so we can compare the group size. And uh, these are 27 grains. So let's try these and see how the group size is on them. All right. Just need to adjust this. Right, let's have a look. So the 218s are actually a, a bigger group size, which I'm surprised because every, everyone had told me that the gun was 218. But this gun seems to like the knockouts, uh, and I can't beat that. I mean, the results will be speak for themselves. The one thing I love about this gun, especially for a bullpup, bullpup, the triggers generally can be a bit creepy. The Vulcan, the, the trigger is just an really, really, really nice. And the cocking action is just smooth and light. So guys, um, I hope you enjoyed that. In my next video, I'm actually going to break down the Vulcan and I'm going to get into how you set the regulator. Um, because believe it or not, this rifle can actually swing a 40 grain slug at over 1000 feet per second, um, which is incredibly powerful for you know, a 5.5 a PCP uh, in this price range. So guys, stay tuned and thanks for watching.